Let us pray. Our Father, we pray by the Holy Spirit. Help us, O Lord. Speak your word again. Help us to be doers of this word and not hearers of this word alone. I pray thy grace to listen. Let it be released upon us. Lord, I ask that, O God, anything that makes us to be absent minded or worried, let it be cancelled. Lord, help us to hear and apply in our lives. And let this message bring revival of our soul. And let it be a defense to us. So that none of us will fall into the trap of the enemies in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. In Proverbs chapter 6 verse 29. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 29. So he that goeth into his neighbor's wife, whosoever toucheth her shall not be innocent. First Corinthians chapter 6 verse 18. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 Flee fornication. Every sin that the man doeth is without the body. For he that committed fornication sinneth against his own body. 1 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 1 It is reported commonly that there is fornication among you and such fornication as is not so much as named among the Gentiles that one should have his father's wife and he are puffed up and have not rather more that he that do, had done this deed might be taken away from among you for verily as absent in body for present in spirit have judged already as though I were present concerning him that has so done this did. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, when you are gathered together, am I split with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ to deliver such an a one unto Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that the spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. <laughs> Look at verse 9. I wrote unto you in an epistle. Not to company with fornicators, yet not altogether with the fornicators of this world, or with the covetous or extortioners, or with idolaters, for them must you need go out of the world. But now I have written unto you not to keep a com company if any man that is called a brother be a fornicator, or covetous, or an idolater, or a ruler, or a drunkard, or an extortioner with such and a one no not to eat. I'm talking to you on the topic flee fornication. Flee fornication. Whatever our Heavenly Father commands us to do, we should obey Him and keep strictly to those things. Reason being that he loves us and does not want us to suffer or go to hell fire. So whatever he does not want us to do is for our own good. And when we keep away from such things, he shall be away with us here and hereafter in Jesus' name. If you look at the book of John chapter 12 verse 50. John chapter 12, reading verse 50. And I know that his commandment is life uh, life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. His commandment is what? Life everlasting. Chapter 13 verse 17. If you know these things, happy are you if you do them. So... He has commanded us to flee fornication and adultery because of the consequences. Please pay attention. We shall consider this message under the influence of headings. One, the commandments and reasons. Two, the danger and example. Let's go to point one. The commandments and reasons. 
We have been commanded from the Old and New Testament not to commit adultery and fornication. We shall be going through many passages of the Bible to discover some of them, some of the commandments and warning. Remember, adultery and fornication are almost the same act. And the difference is that fornication is committed by those who are not yet married. While adultery is committed by those who are married, but left their life partner to another. So, whichever way, it is forbidden by God. If you left your husband and slept with another man, it is forbidden. If you leave your wife and go to sleep with another, um, another woman, it is what? Forbidden. If you are a single person and you commit fornication, it is forbidden by God. Are you hearing me? It is gross wickedness. And I want you to please wake up because God has something to tell you through this message. So that you will be delivered. Because many people are going down through this area. But I believe that through this message today, if you are among those that are trapped already, you will be delivered. So, take note. If you look at the book of Exodus 20, verse 14. Exodus chapter 20, verse 14. Thou shalt not do what? Commit adultery. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 10. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 10. And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall be surely put to death. In other words, thou shalt not commit adultery. In Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 18. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 18. Neither shall thou commit adultery. Matthew chapter 5, verse 27. This is commandment. In Matthew chapter 5, Verse 27. You have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. Flee fornication, for every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committed fornication sinneth against his own body. Flee fornication. Fornication is Forbidden. Adultery is forbidden. In First Corinthians chapter seven, verse one. Now, concerning things whereof you wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. To avoid what fornication is forbidden. Chapter ten, verse eight. First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 8. Neither let us commit what? Fornication. And some of them committed and fell in one day. Three and twenty thousand. We shouldn't commit what? Fornication. Fornication is forbidden. In Galatians chapter 5 verse 19. Galatians chapter 5. Reading verse 19. And as a child of God. And you go into it, they can destroy your marriage for life and, and dis- destroy your soul. You won't talk about heaven and Bible again. And if you are carrying Bible, you carry it for stealing from the church. No longer that you are a Christian. It's not that you are still a Christian. Now, listen to me. You will develop a enmity with your wife or your husband. Hatred with your good wife or your good husband. Because stolen water is sweet. According to Proverbs chapter 9, verse 17. And that man you have now. Listen to another danger. That man you left your husband to go and sleep with can kill your husband in order to have you complete. And after killing your husband and the eyes open, he will run away from you. You remain a widow throughout your life. You will lose your husband, you will lose him. Did you understand what I'm saying? That woman you left your wife and went to sleep can poison you and they give you charm that will make you to drive away your wife and even kill you and collect the secret because while he's telling you that he loves you, there is no truth in it because he has been doing that from one woman to the other. 
they can collect all the from one man to the other. They can collect all the secret information about you and poison you, because it was Satan that is in control at that time. God is no longer there. I want to let you know, if you are prone to fornication or adultery, you can you and you are purporting to be a pastor. Honestly, you will be a wicked pastor. Do you hear me? The wickedness will be so much that the truth will not the truth will not mean anything to you. Truth will be like water. That is the truth to be like mixed something. No matter the truth, the truth is being told to you. You will not. In fact, you will do what you like. It can make you to be a vagabond. There is no place where you can stay and stay for a long time. You just moving up and down. And you cannot be anything, you cannot hold money, you cannot hold marriage, you cannot. In fact, your life will be a life of a person under course. It will bring you down from any position you are into. Did you understand what I'm telling you? No matter the position you occupy, it will bring you. In fact, it's a question of time, it will bring you down. No matter how rich you are, you can erode it one day. All the money will be gone, everything will be gone. It is a disaster for one to enter the sin of fornication and the world. It has made many men to be, in fact, not to know what they are into, whatever they are doing in life again. They are just, their life is what? Miserable. Because God is not with them. And God is angry with them. It has made many ladies who, listen, one of the dangers, it has made many, many ladies, girls that should have good husbands, to live their life and become old without husband at all at all. Or sometimes begin to look for, for widows and they, to look for old men to just attach themselves. Because along the line, they went into adultery or fornication, I mean fornication, and committed the abortion. Or sometimes became pregnant, and they, from that time they become an enemy of God. And many people who know their lifestyle will not go near them. They will live their life throughout some of the people like that, it was the kind of life they lived when they were students. Follow them throughout their life, they never be anything at all at all. No marriage, no future, nothing. Some of them, because of the bloody shed of abortion, they will never smell a child again in life. Except the person becomes so serious with God and cry out and cry out for that pastor so that that cause will be what? Removed. Are you playing with adultery and fornication? And you say, she touched me, I touched her. You are going. They didn't hear what I'm saying. The earlier they stop touching you and you stop touching them, the, the, the stronger you become as a human being. Did you hear what I'm saying? The more they touch you and you touch them, you become like a piece of bread. You will lose value. You will lose favor. You will lose strength. You will lose power like Samson. The heads of power shall be cut off. And then punishment will come from every side. And you will be blaming people. But they are the architect of your fall. And men do you are ways. Did you hear what I'm saying? Now you are no longer an unbeliever. You are now a saint. You have now become fully the temple of the Holy Ghost. And if you will use this holy temple and misuse it because of women oh God, or because of men God have mercy on you do you know that if you didn't come out for restitution of such sin eh, you will not be forgiven no matter what you claim to be did you understand what I'm saying God said he shall by no means clear the guilty and then you are pastoring somewhere and then you you are singer and you are choir and members of the, uh, the church you are committing sin with them and you are sent to God and save them. Honestly, honestly, the judgment of God is upon you. Except you cry out and come out and say, Look at what I have done, so that those souls will recover, you are gone. God has given a commandment, He said, Thou shalt not commit adultery. Flee fornication. Wrong. I want to let you know that when Eventually, David took somebody's wife. He arranged for the death of the husband. Two of us, and Uriah was killed. What happened next? David took after the wife. 
But he suffered it throughout his life. And after him, are you going to another man and you say you love your husband? No, you're an enemy. You want that man dead. Do you say you love your wife and you're looking at other women and you want to sleep with them or you're sleeping with them? You want her dead. Do you say you love your future? You love your ministry? And you are committing fornication and adultery. No, you don't love your ministry. You have no future. If you go to the book of 2 Samuel chapter 11 verse 1 to 17, you will see how David committed evil and went ahead and killed the husband of the woman. Besides, such art can hinder one from getting married. I've said it before. Getting married in life, not have children, and can bring untimely death and sorrow forever. My friend, that is true. Such art can bring untimely death and even sorrow for eternity. Sorrow to eternity. And sorrow in eternity forever. Please, I don't know what you are into. In this present life, no, in, in fact, you will discover that nothing will work for you. Because of the sin of what? Fornication and adultery. I told you of Delilah, the case of Sanson the Strong. The power was gone, the ice was removed. He was looking for the power, but no more power. And he was used as object of caricature. And they will bring him out and say, make me a sport. They will kick him and fall on the ground. And they, you know, they laugh at him. And they will make him mockery of him. Using him as a shield. And that was the sensing the strong. And because of loving women, they died a shameful death. Death suffered for years without eyes. Judges chapter 16 from verse 1, uh, verse 6, 1, 6 to 20 to 31. I mean to 30. Please read it at home, I'm not going to read. Children of God, remember, he caused sense in his powers, I told you, his eyes and even life. Beware also, he can destroy or will remind your ministry and bring as communication and make you to be removed from the church. It will bring suspension. It will bring shame. And the, no matter the restriction, the wound cannot be removed. Even though it's healed, the wound is there. The, the scans will not be removed. It is abomination for you to go into this art. Those who are into it are into terrible reproach for life. When you go home and read First Corinthians chapter five, verse one to five, nine to thirteen, Proverbs chapter seven, verse five to twenty-three, you see how those that goes into these things that is for their life, they cost them their life. They go into it hastily. They go into it with a mind that it is sweet, but at the end it is for their life. In Proverbs chapter 7, from verse 5, that they may keep thee from a strange woman, from the stranger which flattereth with his her words. They will talk as if though they, they, you know, you have become sugar care. But no. Are you hearing me? And look at verse 6. For at the window of my house I look through his mind and be, be heard among the simple ones. I discern among the youth a young man void of understanding passing through the street near her corner. And he went the way to her house. And it went light in the evening in the black and dark night. And behold, there met him a woman with an attire of a harlot and subtle of heart. She is loud and stubborn. That is the kind of woman. Her feet abide not in her house. She's always hunting for souls. Now, she without now in the street and lieth in wait at every corner looking for her precious souls. So she caught him, that young man that doesn't know anything, and beat him, and with an impudent face said unto him, listen to the point, I have this offering with me. That is... Um, 
That is the crisis offering or bitterness offering. This day I have paid my vows, therefore came I forth to meet thee diligently to seek thy first, and I have found thee. Yes. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved wood or, or works, with fine linen of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with Mary, Alos, and Cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace our, our sake with loves. For the good man is not at home, he has gone a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him, and will come home at the day appointed. And with her much faith speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He goeth after her straight away, as an horse goeth to the slaughter, as or as a fool to the correction of the stars, till a dart struck through his liver, as a bird lost it to the snare, and knoweth not that it is for his life. As long as you yield yourself into this thing, it is for your life. If you want to come out, come out. If you don't want to come out, I want to let you know that I am free from your blood. Fornication and adultery is forbidden by God. And if you get into it, the Bible said, you shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Such your life. Remember, Solomon the Great, outlandish woman, took away his heart. And I don't know where he is. Sansing. All these people, they paid dearly for their mistake. They committed adultery and fornication. And I want to let you know that adultery and fornication will bring you down and make you poor and mar your future. So, do not go close to whoever that is not your wife or that is not your husband. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't go close to them. It will bring you down. Repent of it, do restitution, and go and sing no more. Bow down your head and let us pray. Everybody pray. You need to really check your life. Are you captured? Are you about to be captured? You can deliver yourself today. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Let's really pray. Let's really pray. Let us pray and be free from that cause and be free from that evil and be free from hellfire. Let us pray. Everybody. It is the will of God, even your sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication. Fornication is forbidden, adultery is forbidden. Flee fornication. Everybody pray. Don't toy with it, don't joke with it, don't yield into it, no matter the persuasion. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Why not pray? You can be free. You can be delivered. Cry to heaven. Pray to break away from it. Break away from the cause. Break away from the snare. From the trap of the devil. Everybody pray. Let that cause be removed from you. Let that cause be removed from you. Let that reproach remove from you. Let that shame remove from you. I find that in heaven, I look up unto thee. I ask for mercy, O oh God, on behalf of each and everyone in this church, as many that have gone into this wickedness. Lord, I pray, lose them and liberate them from the power of evil. Save your people, God. Save your people, God. It is of your mercy we are not consumed. Lord, I'm asking you 
Show us mercy. Show us mercy. Show your people mercy. Everybody pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Our Father in heaven, I pray. In your Lord, remember mercy. For mercy rejoices over judgment. Whatever these ones have gone into, whatever they have done, Father, any form of entanglement, any form of seduction, any form of immoral art. O oh Lord, deliver my people in Jesus' name. Daddy, it is never your will that any of these ones should perish. All I'm asking you, O oh God, for your name's sake, for your mercy's sake, Lord, I come for intervention. No matter the pit of immorality that cast into, and now their future has been marred. And it is now reproach and shame and woe. Oh God, have mercy upon my people. I pray recover them from the grave of immorality in Jesus' name. Any now, any trap, wherever they have been captured, and the devil, they are fleeting them like something. Oh God, by your authority, I break that now. By your power, I break that now. Let that chain be broken in their life in Jesus' name. Anything taken from them that they ask they amend their way and do their restitution, amend their way, let those things be restored. <laughs> let the hair of power, the hair of power, let it grow again and cover them in Jesus' name. <laughs> any man, any woman that been set as a trap in their location. And no matter what we preach, and they go back and fall into the trap. Father, by your authority, I destroy that trap. I command that love to turn to, turn to swine in Jesus' name. Daddy, all I'm asking you, through this message, by your power, Visit all our locations <laughs> and get rid of every form of adultery or fornication or loss in Jesus' name. <laughs> my father, my father, my father, Lord, have mercy upon my people. 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 Recover them in Jesus' name. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus. 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 Oh God. Those that are shot in their prison and made to be ashamed and made them never to do restriction so they can continue. Let that prison be open. Let them be released and defy the shame and do restitution and be recovered in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. Lord, let there be intervention in their life. I pray that this night, my Father, this night, follow them up. Give them revelations. Give them visions. Lord, I pray intervene. Let your name be glorified in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.